Hey guys, here is Sabina and today I will tell you how to make a good character. In that case it's not important in which field you are making your person because the rules apply to any kind of characters. It doesn't matter if it's original character, side character, the main character or a villain. The rules are all the same. So let's start. For a good character you need a good character development. I will tell you in single points what you have to look for when you design a character. First, give them some special skills or abilities, but do not overpower them. They should be very good at something and their skills should be also very important for the story. Remember that people are there to watch them grow and they are not watching them who they already are, but what they become. Second, what is also very important for the first point is to let them a little bit room to grow. They shouldn't be perfect in every field. There should be always a room where they can do better or more. My next point will be uniqueness. Just think about it. Why is it important to keep them in the story? Would the story end up exactly the same when they wouldn't be there? Then they are useless and you don't need them at all. The fourth point is the much important one. And many forget it or skip it. But Exactly this point is why the characters are so interesting. Don't forget to give them some negative characteristics. Remember, nobody is perfect. If you don't do it, your character will be way too perfect or also be called Mary Sue. This is why they become boring. You should give them a fear. What are they afraid of? Make them struggle a lot with their abilities, with their problems. Let them also fail during their journey. Make them suffer and overcome their problems. And make it, of course, so long as possible. Nobody gets rid of their fears in one or two days. This is also why some series are very boring. Because you know it's a main character and he can die. You know that he will make it no matter what. That they will never fail. And also why, for example, Game of Thrones got so popular. Because people there are mortal, they can die, they make mistakes, they fail and they die, like a normal human being. And again, remember to give your character some inner conflicts or maybe moral conflicts, where they know that what they are doing is wrong, but they do it anyway, because they need it. Make them break the rules. The next point is history. Give them a very short story, what happened to them when they were younger. With what have they to struggle at that day? And how was their way for becoming exactly that person that they are? What was their way until they met the main character, for example, or to until they became one main character? Remember that the most important story of the past is that one from the villain because it makes you understand why he is the bad guy or how he end up like that. Also, don't forget to give them a very unique and special personality. Something that is typical just for them. It doesn't matter if it's the language or way of talking or maybe their attitude. Give them their own emotions. Is it maybe a person that gets angry very fast? Or maybe it's a character that is very understanding. To make your character more active in the story, you can give them some membership of something. For example, if it's a doctor, then he belongs to the cycle of doctors. When it's a witch, she's a member of the cycle of the witches. And this is what makes them active and not passive. That they are already very active in something and belong to some place. The next point is that the people has need to be identified with that character. You need the connection between your, for example, side character and the main character. Why do they stick together? Why is trying the side character to help them so badly? If somebody will come to me and say, uh, here, Sabina, we need to, to save the world, then my first question will be, why me? Why I am so important to be a member of, of the team? And what does it drives me to do it? Remember that most of the people are trying to stay out of the problems. And for the main character, it's very important to make the connection 
with the reader or with the person who is reading or watching the story. Remember, the character doesn't have to be likable, it has to be interesting. My very last point is to make some research about, for example, the times that you are writing about, if it's in the past or possible in the future. So how far can a world develop at the point that it's right now? Give your characters a clothes that fits to their time and place, but also read something about psychology so that you know what you can expect from people. And also, how are the methods to overcome their fears or their behavior. And remember that people mostly go into the steps of their parents. So if the parents were abused, for example, for one of your character, then mo most likely the character will also be very violent. And if it's not that case, it means that something very special and very, very important happened in their lifetime. Why they change that, why they change their behavior and why they see the world with different eyes suddenly. It's likely something so much important that it will shape them forever. These were all points for a character in your own fantasy world. The rules are a little bit different if you make your character in some kind of fandom or a series. But this is topic for another video. I hope you learned something new today. If you have any questions, you can write me a comment and I will see you in the next video.